Happy race day. Getting excited, getting ready, uh, getting nervous, but that's normal for a race. So getting all my goods, packed up, my throwaway clothes, my goodie bag for afterwards, and it's gonna be fun. See you at the starting line. All right, this is a very special booth. It is the Children's Champions VIP tent, which you get access to if you hit a certain amount of money raised. So I did get access again this year. This here also included a private viewing area, which you're seeing now, and you can see the start and finish line very clearly. Hey, this is your eight minute warning, your eight minute warning. Everybody jump on into those corrals. Use the bathroom last chance, here we go. Here we have the starting line for the Columbus Marathon and it's always super exciting with the fireworks, the energy, the cheer, the crowd. They definitely get you thunderstruck for a great event. So here we're enjoying the fireworks and getting ready to hit these streets of Columbus. over the city. Here we're coming up on another patient champion and their family, so you really want to try to high five as many as you can. So I'm going to run over and say hello and thank the family for being out there. They're just such great energy to help the runners get through their races. Thank you. Here we have another patient champion. I want to say this is between miles five and six. Um, this is the Frog family, so definitely cheering us on, thanking them for being out there and having a great time. One of my favorite cheer sections, the Polka Ladies, they're there every year. And this is coming back up on Broad Street, getting ready to pass another patient champion. So lots of energy, lots of love out on this race course today. side. Um, you'll see all the race sponsor signs to celebrate the folks who are sponsoring the race. And then these awesome blue signs here are in honor of all the Children's Champions fundraisers. So anybody who raises at least 50 bucks gets their name put on a sign and all the runners get to go past and see all the vast number of Children's Champions fundraisers. So it's really cool to see how many people support the fundraiser and also the hospital and, and trying to help the patients at Children's Hospital. As you can see, there are still lots of signs. It's a beautiful fall day, so you get to see all the beautiful tree color, the leaf colors, um, still going past all these signs. So a ton of people help raise money for children's every year, which is awesome. Bam, and mine. Had to take a moment to pause there. As we get past all the signs, you'll also see a banner for each of the patient champions. So this is what we call Children's Corner, and you'll see a lot of folks out there cheering. Um, and here in a moment, you'll get a view of the main campus of Children's Hospital. beautiful children's hospital is that original building there and they've really expanded out to provide lots of services for kids in our community 
Yeah. Running with my boy Chuck. What up, y'all? GG. We're doing it, y'all. We're doing the damn thing. Hashtag be great. Hashtag be great. Hashtag be great. Oh, man. Right. Let's see you again. <laughs> we finally caught you. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to say now. We got Batman right here. Still yeah. safe. I'm going to get over and record a little yeah, bit. I'll see you at the end, baby. Yeah, one of the most special miles of the Columbus Marathon is mile 11, the Angel Mile. Uh, this mile celebrates the kids and the patients whose race has already been completed, so to say. Um, the kids who passed away and their families come out with signs and pictures and banners and spend a lot of time to support the runners out there and thank us for being out there. So. It's a very emotional mile to run by every single year, but to be a part of this and to celebrate those families still remembering their kids, um, it's something special. So it's, it's a hard mile, but it's definitely something special about our race. And while the Columbus Marathon is called the most meaningful race in America, so you'll see quite a few signs here, people hugging. Um, these are all people at the Angel Mile as well, so it's, it's really tough. But it's great to see them out there, and we definitely appreciate all their love and support every year. I personally think of my mom every time we hit mile 11 because she passed away on the 11th of June, and it's mile 11, so uh, my mom is my angel and the reason why I'm out there every year. This is where the mental game gets really tough because you're coming up by the state house, coming up High Street, you're getting ready to approach mile 12 um, and participating in the half marathon, you know you're just so close to that finish line. So you have to keep your eye on the prize, keep your legs moving, keep your mind right. And uh, again, it's a beautiful day with lots of great spectators out supporting all of the runners and athletes out there. So it's been amazing. Getting ready to approach Evelyn's mile. She's mile 12. I got to meet her parents at a Gathering of Champions event, and I'm getting ready to high five her dad so hard. This was an awesome moment this year for us. Uh, approaching the Taka booth. Thank you. It all comes down to this that last two tenths of a mile, one tenth of a mile approaching the finish line. It's always so emotional because you put so much training and so much effort into every race. You just run by all the patient champions who are out there ce celebrating you. So, again, it's just an amazing race, and you'll see the finish line approaching and all the people at the finish line there to celebrate you. And it's a wonderful experience to be able to do every year. Uh, honor my mom, run for the kids, raise a bunch of money for Children's Hospital to help the kids in our community. There, there's nothing like the Columbus Marathon and why I love it so much um, and why I'm going to be doing year 10 in 2023. So it's, it's going to be great. And I literally could not do this every year without my awesome community, friends, family, people who support my story and support the story of my mom. Like, we're all crossing this finish line together, y'all. This was our race. We did it together. We fundraised together. We nailed it. We did it. Children's Marathon number nine in books. I'm very happy. Time to go eat and find my friends. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone who's ever supported my journey, my running, my fundraising, listen to my story. I, I love you. I appreciate you so much.